Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to hide sections on your Shopify store. Whether this be your header, footer, or really anything that you want to hide on your Shopify store, that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this tutorial. Again, if you do want to hide that header, footer, or really any other section within your Shopify store. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to hide it and remove it, again, from your Shopify store. So I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to do that. Now, before we dive into things, of course, I do wanna mention, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Once again, that's that first link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, first things first, you wanna make sure that you are locked logged in to your Shopify store. So once you are here on the Shopify home screen, uh, you're again logged into your Shopify store. Next, what you're going to come over to is the left hand side here, and you're going to click on online store. Now, currently I am using the online store 2.0 themes. So this may be different it, depending on what theme that you're using with your Shopify store. But if you're on the latest and up to date uh, version of themes that they have to offer, this should work just fine for you. Again, if you're on the latest themes, as you can see here, like the Dawn theme, Spotlight, you know, Sense, a lot of the more modern themes with Shopify, this should work just fine. So again, on the online store 2.0 setup. Then what you're going to do next is come here to the black box and click on customize. This is going to take you into the Shopify theme editor, the store editor. Now, I'm going to be showing you a couple different ways to go about doing this. Again, maybe if you're interested in creating landing pages, I know I have a landing page tutorial on the channel, or again, if maybe you just don't care about your header or footer or other sections in your Shopify store, this is how you hide it. So what you're gonna do is select, on, click on the click and select the actual section that you want to hide. So in this case, we're going to be hiding the header. Uh, again, this will work for any other section. So you've selected it. Once you have selected it and you know, you can see that it's there. Uh, what you're going to do here is on, you know, underneath that section, again, there might be a template section. There might be a header section. Once you have navigated to the actual header section, you're going to come over here, left-hand side, mouse over the actual header um, you know, section that you have highlighted and you're going to click this little eye icon that will then hide it from your Shopify store. So as you can see here, currently, this is the store. Uh, again, this is just the test store for tutorials. So it's not super pretty, um, but you're going to click save. So as you can see, before we click save, uh, it would, it still had the header. We're going to go ahead and refresh it now. Uh, after we click save. And as you can see here, there is no longer a header. Now, that is good in the case of maybe you want to hide it across all of your pages on your Shopify store, but maybe you don't want to hide your header or footer on every page. Maybe you only want to hide it on certain pages. That's what we're going to get into now, as well as how this will be applicable, again, for landing pages. I know I have a whole other landing page tutorial. This is specific to certain sections within your Shopify store. So we've removed the header here. Uh, if we want to remove the header or the footer, uh, you can also go down here and click the little eye icon and it will no longer be there. Uh, as you can see here before and after, uh, again, it will take a second for it to all load in. So this is the footer. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that as well. We're gonna go ahead and click save. We scroll down here, it's currently there. And then we refresh the page and boom, now it just ends with the uh, email subscription box. Uh, and there are no, there's no footer there anymore. So as you can see, very easy to do if you're just trying to remove header or footer. If you uh, want to actually you know, hide other sections or remove other sections, you, know, you could opt for just deleting those other sections uh, you know, if you don't want them. Like as you can see here, if you wanna delete this email signup, you would just click the little trash icon and it would delete it. But maybe you just temporarily want to hide something. You don't necessarily want to completely remove it. Um, then you would just hide it by clicking the, the little eye icon. Now I get with the header and footer, you can't actually delete them. Uh, you can only hide them. So obviously that's something to keep in mind there. Um, so, you know, you could just, you could always just remove and completely delete those other sections that you don't want. Uh, or you can hide them if you want to keep them there and maybe if you want to come back to them in the future Maybe go and later update them it once you have more information Maybe you had like a some sort of template there that you wanted to keep 
you can always just, you know, keep that template that you have built out for a certain page and then you can hide it uh, and then re-add it. So that's how you do that there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and then reactivate the header and footer here on the home page. Uh, or just, yeah, see, this is for the home page. We're gonna go ahead and click save. Now I'm gonna be showing you how you're gonna be able to edit this for specific sub templated pages um, for like a landing page in that case or example. So we're gonna go ahead and refresh. So now the regular site still has the header and footer. So next, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna come down here to the different pages. Now I have already built out a separate templated page. If you haven't already, um, you know, I have this one clicked assigned to one page as landing page template. We're going to be editing that template here in this tutorial, but if you haven't already created one, all you have to do is click create template. It will then create a template here that you can then go ahead and make separate from the rest of your other default pages and separate from your homepage on your Shopify store. It's important there just to mention because you don't want to be if you just want it separate for one singular page, you don't want that then updating and duplicating across every single page on your Shopify store. Uh, right, so we're gonna go ahead and select landing page. Again, all you have to do is click create template if you wanna make one from scratch. We're gonna click on landing page. So as you can see here, this is the landing page template um, that I have set up and devised for this Shopify store. And once you have selected your landing page template or whatever page template that you want, when you go into your pages and you create your template, again, this could be your test, test two, whatever it may be. Now that you have selected your new page template, next, what you're going to do here on the landing page template in order to remove your header and your footer, in order to make this look like a more proper landing page, as you can see here, uh, what you're going to do is come in to your page template here. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to add a section and it's going to be called custom liquid. Now I have already added the code here. Uh, the code that you're going to add in on your section and under the custom liquid is going to be this liquid code as it follows here. All you have to do is copy and paste it in and it will work. Now I will be adding this of course to the video description as well to make it easier for you to copy and paste. Uh, but this is it, it's essentially style, header, wrapper, display, none, footer, footer, display, none. Uh, pretty simple there, pretty simple uh, piece of code. You're going to paste that in and then now that section will then run on all of the pages that you have assigned to this, you know, page template. Um, now, of course, you can duplicate that over more pages, you know, whatever pages have that template assigned to it. Uh, you might only be assigning this uh, page template to one page. In this case, it might just be that singular landing page uh, on your Shopify store. Again, if you go into the actual, you know, landing page URL, uh, that would be this page here again. It's just under you know pages and then landing page That's the current uh, Shopify page that we have viewed uh, Created this under so then if we go to view the page it will then take you to this URL here And if we refresh it as you can see you can see the header for like a split second there uh, As the page is loading same with the footer, but it does ultimately remove it So this is really the best that you can get in terms of removing a header and footer from a specific page And the cool thing is is when you do it just to that page template uh, in your Shopify page settings, again, as I showed you, uh, when you actually go to your website and you refresh the regular site, it will still have your header and footer in there. Uh, so, you know, certain pages, if you want them to not have a header and footer, such as landing pages, you can now do that with this piece of code. All you have to do again is add that little snippet of custom liquid to the bottom of your page that you want it to be added to. Uh, again, within your page templates and within the sort of Shopify uh, page builder that they have built out here. So hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful again for removing header and footer from either all pages or even just specific landing pages as well. Again, you can easily do that to anything, but I get that the header and footer is a little bit more complicated than just deleting or removing other uh, sections of your store. Those are pretty straightforward in the editor. So again, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, why are you watching this video? Now go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial. Again, if you found it helpful, then be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.